Guys, what's going on? It's the snow dog here. I'm back. It's been a while, but I'm here playing Giant Graveyard again. And I'm using this deck with Fisherman, Skelly King, and Night Witch. It's actually been really solid. So this guy's gonna go drill. So I'm probably gonna have to let that one wall breaker connect. So drill is kind of a difficult matchup for this deck. Just because they have Valk usually. So let's see what he's going to do. Alright, so it looks like he actually has Cannon instead of Inferno. Which is good for me. Alright. So I'm probably going to take a lot of damage here. I did get a lot of damage on his tower. But not as much as he got on mine. So I'm going to have to find a way to come back there. I'm going to see if he'll give me the opportunity to tower trade. Okay, yeah, it looks like he will, maybe. Alright, so I should have a pretty decently sized push here. And I'm just going to go Fisherman to try to pull away this Valk. Arrow this Dark Goblin, and he's probably gonna guard, so I need to get a snowball down ASAP. Okay, well, it's better safe than sorry. He's probably gonna be going in pretty aggressive on my tower now since I overcommitted with that snowball. Yeah, okay, I went Skarmy there because I knew he would go wall breakers, and I actually got a ton of damage on his king tower, which is nice. So I'm definitely gonna be going for the three crown now. So I'll just Skelly King to get those Skeleton spawn. And I even get a couple more Skelly hits on King, which is good. I'm gonna arrow his Dark Goblin here. And let's see, all right. So he's gonna be going in again. I can just let that go, honestly. And I'll just go Giant Graveyard here. Arrow the guards. And, okay, Skelly King died, unfortunately, but we still have a full health Night Witch and Fisherman, so he has to respond to. So he uses Wall Breakers, so he can't attack with them now. So, yeah, right now, I'm just going to be, like, stacking troops, because it's really hard for him to push into me. I'm just going to snowball that one. Yeah, I knew he was going to fireball, so I didn't want to put any troops, like, directly on top of the goblin drill. I'm just going to arrow here, get the dark goblin off. And slowly but surely, we're chipping his tower down. I just need to be very careful here with this defense. So I'm just going to snowball everything, and yeah, that's a pretty good defense. It's really hard to defend those pushes that he does where he like drills and snow er, and fireballs but let's see All right. I think I missed the dark goblin with that arrows which was kind of unfortunate but I think I can still win here so I'm gonna go in for a giant graveyard here and I think that should be GG because he can't defend it. So that was a good game. I think I definitely have matchup there since he only has cannon. If he had Inferno, it would be a different story. But he, like, I can defend his goblin drills pretty easily since I have Skelly King. The only problem with this deck that I'm using is that it has very little air defense. So if you go up against Lava and they have like Skelly Drags and Inferno Drag and like Minions or something, you're pretty screwed. And it's also bad against decks like Golem and Elixir Golem where they have like multiple dragons because pretty much all the dragons destroy the baby or destroy your Night Witch like a baby dragon. And since Night Witch is really your only, like, air-targeting troop, the bats get 
destroyed pretty easily. So those kind of decks, you really have to just like go all in on the three crown and try to tower trade and maybe you can get lucky. It looks like it's taking a while, but we've found a match there. So I always like to use Skarmy along with the Skelly King because it's pretty much like a free Skarmy when you charge up the Skelly King's ability and use it. So this is looking like an interesting deck. I don't know what it is. It could be like RG maybe. Okay, it looks like it's actually the Pompeo deck. So, I'm gonna go, okay, um, so Inferno Jag is gonna be pretty difficult to counter, right. I'm just gonna snowball to try to take out some of those troops, and I did get some skelly hits on the right, so we're pretty even, I'm down a little bit. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty difficult match since he has Inferno Drag and Mega Minion. And my air targeting troops are pretty weak since I pretty much only have bats. But I'm going to definitely try my best here. Alright, I'm just going to arrow this damage everything. I'm gonna go Skarmy here. And then get down a Skelly King to charge it up. So, I'm not gonna snowball there. I wanna save my snowball for offense here. He, I think he has to zap. And yeah, that gives me free use of the Skelly King ability and also Graveyard here. So, and the Skarmy as well. So like, it's just so much spam, he can't defend it. So he's like laughing cause it's pretty broken. And he's gonna have trouble defending this Skarmy as well. Like it's almost gonna three crown him. He's flexing the GT emote. Okay, wow, it looks like he actually gave up. Like this is very winnable for him still. Because I have, like, literally zero air defense. But I'll take it. If he just went, like, balloon with that miner instead of minoring my king tower, he probably could have taken the right tower, and then he would have won. But I think, like, a lot of people aren't used to facing this deck. So I got lucky there. So that's, like, the way you would beat, like, a deck that has a lot of air cards but if you don't have a lot of air counters, you just focus on going all in at like certain times when they don't have, like this guy didn't have his ice golem or his zap and he had to fire a ball in defense. And then after that, I knew he had like no, no like defense to kill the skeleton. So I was just spamming as many skeletons as I could and it was enough to overwhelm him eventually and he just gave up. So it looks like I hit 7600, which is pretty nice. I haven't really pushed seriously in a couple seasons, but I'll probably try to push this season and see how I can do. So we're up here against Enrico2005. He's gonna go drill, so I'll go Skelly King. The nice thing about Skelly King is it's super good against drill. It's like basically a Dark Prince. That can also spawn a Skarmy, so it's pretty broken. And that's probably why they're nerfing it in the next balance changes. So I think I can leave that Hunter alone, honestly. And it's a good time to go in with a giant push now, since he does not have Hunter in cycle. And Hunter just like shuts down my giant. So I'm gonna go in here with a giant graveyard push. So he's going to fireball. Okay, somehow the cannon cart is still alive. That's kind of unfortunate. But I think 
you know, this will kill it. And I have Skelly King for whenever he goes drill, so this is fine. So this is going to be one of those, like, fast cycle drill bridge spam decks. And they just win by pressuring you so much with drill and, like, spamming the bridge. I saw go Fisherman for the Bandit. I don't think he has a Magic Archer or anything, since he already played, like, Hunter and Cannon Cart. But I will see. I'm going to leak a little bit. I don't want to commit anything right now. I'll just snowball the fire spirit. And then I'll definitely night witch the left for the cannon cart. He might go hunter as well. Yeah, so there's the hunter. I can just go giant here. And then... Okay, uh, somehow the cannon cart locked on the tower, which was really unfortunate, but... Alright, so I'm gonna pull in this cannon cart and kill it. And then, yeah, he... It was a decent fireball, but he missed the Night Witch, so... Now I have a double graveyard, pretty much, with the Skelly King ability. And I'm actually going to go in for more by putting Skarmy at the bridge. And he's probably going to have to, okay. Like, yeah. That m Hunter might die, honestly. Yeah, and I get more skeleton hits. So that was really nice there. And I can just do that again. Start a slow roll push with Night Witch. And I'll just go Giant Graveyard here. He doesn't have too many ways he can defend it. He should be back to log now. I'll arrow so I can hit the goblins. And yeah, that was a pretty decent push there. If I could kill the cannon car, that'd be nice. Okay, it looks like almost, but not quite. So, all right, so he's going to be playing defense for a little bit now. So I don't want to get overwhelmed and have him have like a really good counter push. So I'll just go giant graveyard here. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get a little bit more damage. Okay. Um, it's getting a little scary here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I think I can win now. He went pretty aggressive there, trying to predict my giant. So, yeah, that was pretty solid. And I need to win now, because if he gets back to fireball, it's over. But that should be game. And, yeah, the fireball is coming down, but I got his tower. So, honestly, I should have won that way easier because I have Skelly King for his drill, so I should never really let the drill get damaged. But he was doing a good job of, like, pressuring me. And when he was just spamming those three and four elixir cards relentlessly, like Bandit, Hunter, Cannon Cart, it gets a little difficult sometimes. So this will probably be my last battle. And hopefully it's not against something like Lava or Elixir Golem. I found that this deck is pretty good, like, near top ladder. Because there's not too many Lava players in top ladder, really, compared to, like, other kind of decks. So, that's solid. So, it looks like we found the game against Rhea. This person has pretty low trophies compared to me, so I probably only get like 20 something if I win. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Skarmy first play since he used Log. So with E Spirit, it's probably. So this is probably RG, the Giant Skeleton RG deck. And I'll use the Skelly King ability here to kill this. Uh, Skeleton. Okay, the giant skelly's not gonna die, so I'm gonna fisherman it over here. And 
Yeah, my fisherman pulled his. So that's kind of an interesting interaction. Okay, my night witch got pulled somehow. That was kind of annoying. But, oh, I killed the East Spirit. That was huge. So now the bats are going to be killing his uh, giant skelly. And he also had the log, which means I can use my Skarmy freely. So I think I'm going to do this play. It's kind of like a noob play, but... Like, he can't really defend it. So, it's gonna give me a ton of damage, hopefully. Uh, okay, it looks like he actually defended it pretty well. I wasn't expecting him to defend it, honestly, but... I'm gonna Fisherman here. To kill this hunter. And the good thing about this deck is Night Witch hits really hard, so... It's gonna do a great job killing, like, his... Uh, giant Skelly and Royal Giants when he starts playing them. So he might go Royal Giant here, honestly. Okay. Looks like he's not. I'm just gonna Snowball to give the Night Witch more time to kill the Giant Skelly. And that's not gonna get on tower. Okay, so he's gonna go Royal Giant here. Ooh, okay, that was well played by him. Uh, but I think... I can go in pretty aggressive here now. Yeah, all right. So I got my giant on tower. He's gonna log, but the hunter died. And I have a lot of skeletons still. I don't think any will get on tower, but that's all right. All right, so he's gonna be playing defense now. But I do think his Fisherman is out of cycle, so that's good for me. Alright, so he's gonna go... His Zappies. I'm gonna Snowball. Okay, looks like my push died. I need to get another push down ASAP. He can't really go in since he used Log and I have Skarmy. Okay, maybe he is. That's interesting. But yeah, it's a pretty easy defense, hopefully. Two hits, all right. Okay, looks like he got a lot of damage on the left also. So, okay, I don't know what the fisherman was. He pretty much like pulled my giant closer to the tower so that it would tank. So that's gonna be GG. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll try to upload more videos in the future. Looks like we're 168th in the world. So I'll see you guys next time.